All right, everybody, welcome back to the 546 Project, a long overdue 546 <laughs> Project. Uh, of course, I'm here, Dan, with Nathan and Carrie. Hello. And we're missing. Thought she missed her cue there for a minute. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah and, but, uh, but a couple other ones, others are missing their cue. But. Kevin and Jay's, well, they, yeah, but they're not here to deliver it. I, mean, I thought right. she just blatantly missed it and she's sitting right next to us. But uh, no, Kevin and Jason are out uh, on assignment. What they're doing, we're not sure. Yeah, we're we not sure. Not spoke to them today. Yes, we're bad friends. Um, it is what it is, but uh, we're back. My God, when, when was our last show? Yeah, last show was in early November. Early November. So with that being so said, with that, Happy New Year. Yeah. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas, Thanksgiving. Happy all Thanksgiving. Those. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah Kwanzaa. Whatever. Happy Kwanzaa and anything else you choose to celebrate. If, and, and whether that you're you, and, and whatever like time you listen to this, Martin Luther King Day could be yeah, coming exactly. up soon I mean, too. Hell, this could take us all the way up to Valentine's Day if we're not uh, we're not careful. But uh, I trust everyone uh, here in the room had a wonderful holiday season. Yes, yes we did. So. It's Everything was good. great, yep. and uh, New Year's Eve went well. Uh, here we are, 2019. A lot like 2018. <laughs> wow, nothing. Yeah, what? it really is like 20. Yeah, silence, nothing from us. It really is like 2018. Just uh, changed the eight to a nine. Pretty much. But, uh, like sands was, in the hourglass, these are the days of our lives. After my own heart, I love days of our <laughs> lives. But, you know, I will say one thing. I will comment one thing on New Year's Eve. I watch the ball drop on Channel 7. I watch the... Channel 7 uh, being uh, ABC. Washington, Washington, D.C. Yeah. The, I got the, to see the new kids perform. I was very, very, very happy. Yes, five stars all around for the new kids. <laughs> I, I will say they, they did sound good. For a band that's been around as long as they have, uh, Joey can't quite hit the high notes like he used to, but, I mean, he He's was... also not 11. Yeah, he was 11 then. But, no, for a band that's been around, their longevity, they're, they're still, they still sound good. And they're they, still very well. They really do. Yeah, they still have Especially a very... by Carrie. I yeah, mean, she's only course. seen, like, them, what, 17 times or Three something? Three times, okay. and I'm getting ready to go the fourth time this June. I already got a ticket. But I, right now they know her by name. They, they do. She has met them. She had her first, you know, her first concert she went to. She, she wowed it out. My second and third. Or the second, whatever. But, uh... I know I watched the ball drop on uh, on ABC, and I don't, I don't know. It's still not the same without Dick Clark. I I can't get behind it. Yeah, a lot of people don't like Seacrest. I know that. I I mean personally, he he hasn't done anything to me personally. I mean, it's not like he owes me money or anything. But I just I just never saw the big deal behind Ryan. I, I I know my mom brought up yesterday how she didn't like Seacrest on the. He show. he's got some pretty powerful endorsements though if you think about because like I think Dick Clark was was a big fan and Casey he, he, Kasem was, yeah was a I big mean fan. he got the he got the bump yeah basically. I mean so I mean he's he, I mean he must be doing something right he's good at what he does he just never did nothing for me it just never and it, to do something like that I mean really it's nothing against him they could put anybody up there and it's just I don't know to me it's just not Dick Clark I think I think a lot of people think that he comes off uh, fake. So Could be. that's probably why you get kind of the, uh, not so much hatred, but the kind of slight dislike for what he, I mean, you can't beat Dick Clark. He, I, I mean, I, you have to give props to someone who, in the state he was in, was still doing it. It took two strokes to slow him down, and that was to slow him down. Not, not to even stop him. I mean, he didn't even age until, like, like I said, I mean, two strokes, and he finally aged. Um, I remember the uh, the show with Ed McMahon, the bloopers show. Oh, okay, yeah. That was that. that was a interesting show. Which to me, Dick Clark was always the pyramid. Pyramid too, yeah. Ten thousand dollar pyramid or twenty five. Man, it was a hundred thousand. Uh, yeah, all I those. Such remember, I think like Betty White pretty much made a second name for herself on the uh, game show circuit. Hmm. But yeah, the, so the ball, ball the ball dropped. The donut dropped. Yes, the Hagerstown donut <laughs> dropped. I'm still going to catch that one day. I, I've not had a chance to check. Well, the thing that out, is but. with that, I mean, I think it ends at like seven or eight o'clock. Yeah, they something. do it. I think it's more for kids. Family yes, oriented. it's family oriented. But the, when you read on Facebook, the way people talk about it, though, I mean, they're. I think the adults are just as into it as the kids are. And I think it's actually like known. Like it's like um, I seen a thing on Facebook a while back. It was like ten different ways people bring in the new year, and I think Hagerstown's. Well, um, the donut, donut drop. drop was actually on it or something. See, that's awesome. Yeah. Way to go, Hagerstown. I mean, it's me, going to be known for something good. I mean, that's, you know. Me not being a fan of Crumpy's delicacies, 
I know you you would like to drop Crumpy's donuts off of the building. <laughs> if you did, you? well, if you did that, there'd be a lot of injuries. I think. <laughs> The, the shelf life is not good. They turn hard as rocks. That's just how it is. But they have good donuts. I mean, it, it, you, you get them at the right time. Their donuts are very good. They, I, the, I think the complaint now is they've gotten progressively smaller. They have gotten yes. very small. Yes. I will say that. I mean, these things are like palm size. They're, they're... But you still are paying a little bit less than our... Um... Other places like Dunkin'. Yes, that's true. Yeah, and they do, at least they make them on premise, whereas Dunkin', they do not. Oh, yeah. I mean, you go in there, you see them making them. That's, I mean, yeah. They, and the hours are kind of different than what a lot of people are used to. But, I mean, they're, you get them fresh. They are great. They're, I they're, say that. they're drunk slash uh, marijuana hours, I think. Yeah. In my opinion, they but are. But think about it. It, 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 well, I'll be nice. Especially it works. Go, it works. That place on a Saturday night and wait in line? Yeah, you're waiting in line. They, they definitely know what they're doing. I've it's, known some people that just go right to the front of the line. I know that. Well, there are people that do that. Just just haphazardly, just, just not pay attention to who's behind them, in front of them, whatever. They just, you know. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't at Crumpy's. You know, we're looking at you, Bryce Harper. No. <laughs> Uh, it's Chipotle, yeah. Chipotle, or whatever. Now you're going to get traded. So well, no, he, 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 I. The last I heard about Bryce, don't you love how we bounce around, folks? Yeah. Um. <laughs> last I heard about Bryce is they think he may go back to the Nationals. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, because um, he's free agent status now, right? I shouldn't say yes, he's traded. Yes, he, he is a free agent. Yeah, he's, he's officially a free agent. Uh, the Nationals, I think. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if he does go back there. I mean, the offer, the the floated offer back, like when they uh, before a free agency was ten years for three hundred million dollars. Now, depending on who you talk to, they're they're either confirm not confirming nor denying that floated offer back a couple months ago. But with the talks between Harper and the Nationals going the way they are. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up back in Washington. If he didn't, where would you see him? Where? What do you, who do you think would? I I would say not the Yankees. I would say the Yankees are leaning towards going after Machado. Uh, but the even Do- then, the Dodgers, I believe. Uh, yeah. he he's a free agent too. But yeah, wow. he played for the Dodgers yeah, where part he, of the year he, last year. Yeah, it's at he the moved end. over from Baltimore mm-hmm. to the. To the Dodgers. Um, I know the, a the Cubs, <laughs> if they can get like things situated, I think they may make a run at them. Uh, the Dodgers may make a run at them. I haven't heard a lot lately from them about him. They may be going in different directions, but um, yeah, that's about it for it's. <laughs> The last couple of years, the free agent process has been pretty slow because the top guys aren't signing right away. And if they don't sign, then the guys under them aren't going to sign. It's all dictated by the, the top guys in the free agent market. Turns into one big holdout. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I mean, the spring training starts in about a – well, spring training actually starts – It's usually mm, in February, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's about a month away. About a month out, yeah. So they – they're going to have to be signing these guys here pretty soon. So we'll, I think we'll hear some news here in the next week or two. And we'll definitely keep you all updated. I'd like to say you'll hear it here first, but you probably You'll probably won't. hear it here last. Yeah, this is at that be, our rate. You know, Christ, the way this is going, we'll see you all in the playoffs. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, you, we'll uh, stick with sports and speaking you, uh, of the playoffs. The playoffs the, yeah, the, we're, the, uh, we are watching one of the games right now. Yeah, the late game for the evening, the uh, Colts at the Bears. Uh, or no, that's the Eagles and Bears. I was thinking of yesterday's games, and then I, I did horrible this weekend as <laughs> far as my picks. Uh, but we are watching the Eagles at the Bears, and it's, are we still... It's still 6-3 to three Chicago six right to now. 6-3 Chicago. It's midway through the uh, third quarter. Chicago came to play. Chicago's... I, I really thought the Well, Eagles see, their were... defense has, all, has been uh, near the top all your season, so I'm not really surprised that the Eagles aren't generating a lot of offense, but uh, Chicago is definitely not either. When was the last time the Bears were in the playoffs? Oh man! Uh, was it the year they went to the Super Bowl? Hmm. Huh. No, it was before that. I mean, it was after that. 
they went to a uh, NFC Championship game. Incidentally, and I think I think the year, well, they went to the NFC Championship game against Green Bay and lost. They hosted that game. Uh, but now, I mean, they haven't been there for a it's, at least it's a couple been of years. A while. I know that. Of course, I thought they had the Super Bowl all wrapped up that year, and of course, they didn't. Uh, <laughs> which which year talk, are you talking about? The one they played the Colts, or yes. What? I I had I picked the Bears in that actually I I was that was a mistake I guess it was sure. I was Team Chicago and I think other than that uh, beginning of the, their first drive when they scored that was about it that was that was about all the offense we saw from uh, from the Bears that uh, in that game well, but, I, uh, I mean this game's just kind of a defensive struggle is not not uh, unexpected I guess. Uh, just go down the other games. Uh, the other, the game that was earlier today, uh, Baltimore. He really didn't show up until the uh, midway until through the fourth quarter. Five minutes left to play. They yeah. decided, hey, we do have a game today, uh, and they course. almost, they almost finished the job. But um, the Lamar Jackson got a fumble, uh, stripped, and. Uh, Los Angeles, and we were reminded that they are in Los Angeles and not in San Diego anymore. It's been two years now, but Nobody they they recovered it. the fumble, uh-huh. kneeled kneeled down, and they won twenty three to seventeen. And we'll look at yesterday's games real quick. Uh, in the early game, it was the Colts who are not playing the Bears right now. <laughs> Colts. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to call it an upset, but I was kind of surprised. Beat the uh, Texans. It's, it's not so much an upset only because they're in the same division. They play each other twice a year. So the Colts have just been hot, and I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I kind of looked at it. I I wanted the Colts personally, but I thought the smart money was with uh, Houston, and Houston rolled over yesterday. Yeah. They just they they're another team just did not show up. Uh, yeah, uh, twenty one nothing at the uh, yeah. half and. Up, yeah, what was, what was the final it's score? hard to, at twenty-one to seven. Yeah, so they scored a touchdown. So, yeah, but and, and it, was, it was it was bad. <laughs> it it came to where like Deshaun Watson didn't really he didn't really have a good game, to be honest. So if your quarterback doesn't do well, like Lamar Jackson didn't do in t- today's game until the fourth quarter when he threw for like oh, almost one hundred fifty yards in the one quarter alone, you're not going to be winning. Any playoff games, and then looking at the late game, we had Dallas over the Seahawks. Yes. That was a better game. Uh, that what was the final on that one? I didn't get to. Oh, man. It was on. I was I was out karaoke last night. They had it on. I heard a lot of stuff in the background, but I didn't get to really pay attention. I think it was twenty-seven to twenty-four, but I'd have it to was look close. It up. Yeah, it was it was a close game. Unfortunately, uh, uh, someone's season and possible uh, career uh, has ended. Yeah, Alan Hearns, the receiver for. Uh, Dallas uh, broke his ankle so bad. Horrific broken ankle. So bad that the foot turned the other way when he was laying on the ground. Yeah, he was walking backwards, basically. That, that yeah. was. If you've ever seen the movie The Program, um, just uh, refer to that. But, uh, yeah, and so that, I mean, that's... that's some some are equating it to be worse than Theismann's injury. Wow. Right up there with Alex Smith. We were talking about that earlier. Right, I mean, yeah. Saying he may not be back, but uh, at some point you have to wonder if he's gonna have his foot. You know, yeah. I mean, for that yeah. that gruesome of an injury, it, it it calls into question because I know last year uh, during the season, uh, Zach Miller was tight end for Chicago of all teams. Of course, they're playing right now. He broke. I mean, he just oh, completely right. destroyed his leg. That's right. I remember and that. Now. There was all this talk about. Well, they may be amputating his leg, and thankfully, they were able to save it. And I think, I mean, he's not playing, but I think he's on the sidelines there with his team. You know, they, these are guys. You know, we watch them every week, and, and I mean, not just football, pro wrestling, any any sport. You watch these guys, and you see something like that, and it's just a reminder of how how dangerous this stuff can be. Yeah. And the game's faster now, and they're just running at a faster rate. So you're going to have these, and the players are bigger and all that. So you're going to have uh, these. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have these gruesome injuries. Intense like this. and just horrible. And we, 
wish him all the best. I mean, it, ugh. Yeah, it was not not a pretty sight to see. But so early prediction, early in the playoffs here, predictions for the Super Bowl. Where, what are you? Before what are you the uh, playoffs started, I thought I thought the Saints out of the <laughs> NFC, and I know everybody's talking about like how they're they're worse than they've been for a while, but you know. It's it's one thing to just get into the playoffs, but the Patriots have shown that they can win in the playoffs. So, I think they'll come out of the AFC. I'm personally looking forward. They're they're playing the Chiefs next week. The Colts are playing the Chiefs. Oh, the Colts actually. play the Chiefs. That should be uh, the Patriots have. Uh, they have the Chargers. The Chargers. That should be a decent game. I mean, if the Chargers play like they did today. They've had some really good road wins. I mean, they beat Kansas City on the road, and then they beat the Steelers on the road, which, I mean, in hindsight, since they missed the playoffs, wasn't that good of a win. But anyway, um, and they beat Baltimore today on the road. So they've proven to where they can beat decent teams on the road. So So you're looking at a potential Saints-Patriots Super Bowl. I would pick the Saints out of those two. Yeah, I think I'd agree with you. I they both the Patriots haven't been like you said they're, they're kind of I mean they they're there obviously they're good enough to be there they're always there look at their division but I I'm also um, assuming now I'm under the assumption that the Colts will beat the Chiefs next week the Chiefs have kind of because been they're, here. they're these it's, whenever they got into the playoffs they have a really good team and then they just fall flat. They've they've kind of kind of cooled off here in, in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, that's with the Kareem Hunt situation when, with all that happened with him, and they had they released him, and you know, their backup got hurt. Uh, so, I, I just I, I think the Chiefs will win, but I wouldn't be surprised if Indianapolis pulls off the upset, just based on his the history of the team. I like Andrew Luck, so yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. So if you get the Colts against New England, I, New England's probably going to run them over completely. I See, think. I don't know. I think they'll hang in there more than you think. Mm. But we all know what happens with my prediction. <laughs> we all know my track record. So, so you would, uh, I mean, and, and obviously the um, opponents are still up in question for the NFC because this game's not over. So. Assume let's just assume Chicago does win. So you have a matchups but of Dallas and the Saints, which you're going to pick the Saints, obviously, because you kind of and I don't like roll. Dallas. <laughs> so. so do you think Chicago beats L- uh, L.A.? Mm. They beat them already during the regular season, but that was in Chicago. Tough call, yeah. This one will be in L.A. Mm-hmm. Tough call. But I think they could do it. I would think the I think the Rams would probably win. I don't know how good of a team Chicago is necessarily on the road. But, I mean, the defense is going to have to carry them for sure. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Uh-oh, Philadelphia so. just uh, they scored a touchdown, so they're up ten to six. There you go. So you don't even if have to worry the, about it. If so that's the at, case, yeah, let's look at the Eagles. Philadelphia and the would beat the Saints. Well, I mean, Philadelphia would play the Saints, and the Saints would. If we're going to keep going with the Saints thing, they would, would win. win. So Dallas would play the Rams. Do you do you figure uh, Chicago or Dallas to give the Rams a better game? Oh, You'd probably my. say the Chica- yeah, probably say Chicago. Yeah, I'm right? thinking the Bears. Dallas has been decent this year, don't get me wrong, but nothing overly impressive. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch gears again, and this one is not going to be a very happy uh, news. Yeah, we'll stick with sports and move over to sports entertainment. WWE, some uh, sad news out of the WWE this week. Hall of Famer Mean Gene Okerlund passes away at 76. Mm-hmm. I, he was, like, as far as, as somebody... As far been, as backstage... Um, Interviewers, and you'd have to put him it. at the top. Oh, absolutely, for sure. I mean, he he was he's WWE. The, he's in the, the 80s. staple that everybody would aspire to. Yeah, if if you wanted to be an interviewer or do backstage commentary, that kind of stuff. I mean, it there was, there was nobody better. Come on, I mean, you know, and don't you dare compare him to Tony Schiavone from the <laughs> from the late eighties. Nothing mm. against Schiavone, but uh, 
No, nah, Mean Gene was it, man. Mean Gene Oakland was cool. And I saw that coming out of work uh, earlier this week. And, man, that was sad. Yeah, that, one, that, that was... stopped me. He was... Yeah. It's it's actually very sad. Apparently, from at first there wasn't a whole lot known as to what happened. Like or what, it, what his led up health to apparently it. deteriorated pretty quickly. Yeah, he fell at home yes. a few months ago or something, and I think broke some ribs and was recovering. I can't remember was it at home or if, uh, at a hospital uh, or something. Yeah, I don't know. But it just from there it took a turn. Well, apparently he was quite the heavy drinker. Hmm. Um, through his adult life, he was quite. I know. Did you? Well, watch he the, got. Well, you, you going to refer, refer to Legends House? Yeah, I was going to say. Did you watch Legends House? Like he was his, always mixing he, a drink well, or something. Well, he had to get a t- kidney transplant. And he too. had two. He had uh, two of them, I believe. Yeah, two but or three. One, the, the, they didn't take. Yeah, and I mean, his he, wife's kidney took. Yeah, he he had. Who oddly enough, I think her name was Jean as well. Right, how, hmm. how odd is that? Gene and Gene. Yeah, Gene and Gene. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but he was he was always drinking on Legends House. I don't know if you watched it or not, but yeah, he, he was wasn't far from the from the blender or the drink. And I actually enjoyed that. I, I series. think I I think the more uh, memorable parts of Legends House were probably I mean anything Roddy Piper was in. You know, I mean, he, he I kinda, learned a lot about him watching that. Yeah, he really had some some demons and and some uh, some just personal struggles, man. Roddy Piper was a was a tough nut to crack. Man. So it, it, the cast, if I remember, I mean, Okerlund was in it, Piper was in it, Hacksaw it, Jim Duggan, Duggan was in it, Hillbilly Jim, yeah, Tony Atlas was in it, Tony Atlas, uh, uh, Jimmy, Hart. Jimmy Hart, was Jimmy Hart, Jimmy Hart was in, in it, Pat yeah. Patterson was in Patterson. it, Patterson. I mean, actually, I remember you know they because that was actually what the network debuted. How long ago? What was oh, that? Oh man, that was like a lot. Oh, yeah, it was a while ago. 2014, 2015. And they taped but, that before. Yeah, Legends House had actually been taped years before because I think they were either trying to launch the network before that, or it was going to be part of their on demand or something. Yeah, it, it was in the it was in the can there for a while, but I actually really enjoyed it. I was kind of hoping they would. Could you Have imagine it. them doing that with the getting the Iron Sheik on something like that? Jeez, I mean <laughs> he is. Just, <laughs> You got. I mean, I personally look forward to checking my Facebook feed on Monday mornings and seeing a post from him saying "fuck the Monday." <laughs> I, I personally, my week can't, isn't made until I see that. Uh, but uh, so, if uh, if you had a Legends house now and you can't pick the people that were in it, nobody that was time. in it already. Oh no. wow! And okay. you, you, it, I, were there seven or eight? Let's just say. I, I let's just remember. say there's eight. Okay. Pick eight legends who you'd would like to see now obviously well, i'm gonna start i with mean we can't sheet. we can't obviously put in anybody that's deceased uh, okay that's well a, i'm gonna start with the iron sheet okay i'm definitely gonna say the sheet so you can get who, who would you let's let's brainstorm uh, here man uh <laughs> well i know i know he's not here with us but i know who kevin would want to put in oh my god <laughs> of course but he said it said it would be interesting i think yeah because he is he's, 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 he's kind sheet. of a nut he, he is yeah. that shit crazy yeah i mean he honestly and i mean psycho sid perfectly fit him and i don't think he's acting like i <laughs> really don't kids yeah. i don't think he's acting so we got the um, iron sheik and sid the hell yeah we'll put sid in it we'll we'll mix it up a little bit um, um hmm Jerry Lawler. Okay, yeah. Lawler that wouldn't could be, be bad. Lawler could be interesting. Yeah. You got to put, I think you got to put a commentator in there. Yeah, I don't, and I don't, thing. I don't want to, I know Lawler was a commentator, but. He, he wrestled that. I don't want to, I don't want to put JR no, in there. No, I'm not putting JR. So who would we, I'm, would you, I'm actually going to like, I'm going to put Corey. Sean Mooney. Oh, wow, Sean Mooney, dark horse in it. Okay, yeah. wow. I liked him. I, I liked him yeah. back then. You know, back then he was he was an he was another one really big in the eighties. Yeah. I mean, next to Gene Okerlund, right. there was yeah, yeah you know, because actually Sean Mooney would do commentary and stuff for like the Coliseum home video stuff. Bob Backlund, for sure. Backlund would definitely be. Wow, this is going to be like this is, this is <laughs> they're, they're going to tear legends, each other. This is Legends Nuthouse. <laughs> this is Legends House Asylum. That's, I mean, this is this, we're getting into like American oh. Horror Story here. Yeah, so we got was, five. What Honky Tonk Man. Oh yeah! Oh, oh my HDM. gosh! Yes. I mean, I mean, but you know, he'll tell you. I mean, the paycheck, what they'd have to pay him to do it. Yeah. I mean, I read an interview with him one time where he basically said he won't cross the street for anything less. Than, 
Right. I mean, but the thing is, he draws. He he will draw. The honky tonk man will still get out. So yeah, we'll put J- honky tonk Jake, in there. Jake Roberts. I think Jake Roberts would be pretty good. Jake would be cool. So what are we up to now? We, we got, got seven. Seven. We need one more. All right. hmm. And you got to have someone who's. Hmm. Wow. What about the Fink? Yeah. Yeah. What about I, I think Finkel? I think that would be a good one. He because he was not take... was who was was he like the. Um, the uh, I guess the host did he host like the the show or something? Legends House. I don't know. I thought he's. I don't he was think in... he hosted it. Okay. I can't remember. It's. I watched it. It was one of the first things I watched on the network, and I enjoyed it. But I can't remember. I would have thought like on. maybe a manager would have been good too. But I mean, Bob, okay, Bobby well, Heenan unfortunately, unfortunately wouldn't be. He would have been great. He would. He good. would have been perfect for something like that. Um, he's another one. I, I miss him. Just knowing that he's not able to do it, you know that he's gone. That he was one of my favorites. I guess. I guess you got Harvey Whippleman if you want to put him in there. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of the good ones are gone. I like think, Mr. Fuji's gone. He would. Yeah, been, he would have been interesting. I think. <laughs> you can Carrie, speak up. You can join the group. Carrie wants to put uh, an interesting one in there. Did you say, I did think. You, did you say Rick Flair? I think. I think, yeah. I think Flair would definitely draw if you wanted to oh, get. Oh, definitely. Okay. You need to. Re- Thing on the oh, Carrie's uh, the infamous 2003 oh, plane ride. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead. We can say it where he was caught opening his robe and helicoptering his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't think that's the first time he's done that on a plane. <laughs> I'm going to say probably not at that point in his career. Absolutely not. That that plane ride had to be a living hell. Well, that, that's that, what it was dubbed as. Yeah, it they was. almost opened the door. Yeah, and I mean, it cost quite a few. I think a few uh, jobs were lost. Uh, by the end of that, didn't Perfect get fired after that? Uh, didn't that have I something to do with that? Th- I, I thought Scott was... Hall did. Well, like like he needed a reason. You know, yeah, um, I, I don't know if Perfect did or not. I know he was on there. He I know Gold Dust was involved. Yeah, I, I think mean, he was... may have been the one that was. There were quite a few. I mean, it was. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what it was just an international flight. You know, they take a long time, and I mean, I guess those guys they, had to they, let off some steam. Yeah. Now, see, there'd be an interesting pair, either Hall or Nash, in in a Legends House situation. Scott Hall probably would be more interesting. Yeah, uh, but I'm trying to think. You, you're we're talking about a manager, so I, Harvey Whipple is the only one I can think yeah, of. Yeah, because of course Paul Bear is not with us anymore. Yeah, he's gone. All the good ones are gone. Um, not Cornette. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people hate him though. He might not make it out alive. Like that's the band part. Yeah, yeah. but he, he would be interesting for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean he's very outspoken, and that I do commend him for that. So many people nowadays are kind of afraid to say, especially in the public. You know, they're kind of afraid to say what they want, or they'll be the kind that'll say it, but they don't want to own up to it when they get caught. Yeah. So he, so oh, we're forgetting so, the obvious. Was that who? Paul Heyman. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, of course, he's another one might not make it out live because a lot of people love the ones that aren't Heyman guys. Like you either love him or you hate him too. So I just I consider Heyman to be part of the current. Well, yeah, standard. true. Yeah, that's. I mean, he will. He is a legend. He I mean, will, I know Lawler is, but he's not really that. Involved he's kind of stepped back. He's. I mean, you see him on the pre-shows now, so he's not as active a role as he was. But I could see. Yeah, him Legends House season two. Let's yeah. let's get it going. Legends House Asylum. We'll. Yeah. Uh, We'll put this together, but I'll see that'd be yeah. I was kind of hoping they would seriously do another season of that because I yeah. I did enjoy it. Yeah, I would have liked to see it, but alas, our wishes will never yeah. come true. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like they're putting any more focus. And to it, I but don't I don't think Vince or, or Shane is going to be listening to this show. Fortunately, you can still watch the first Legends House if you have to watch it again or you haven't seen it and want to check it out. It is on the network, and you can of course. Sign up for the network for just nine ninety nine a month and get your first month free. Or ten sixty nine if you're living in Pennsylvania and they tax you for it. That's but. true. I, I don't think Pennsylvania is the only state, but yeah, here, there's any of them that have tax. It gets taxed here in the great state of Maryland. It is just nine ninety nine. I have been an active member since day one. All right, so um, but, uh, we we were talking about Gene Okerlund's passing, yeah. of course. So, but if you're um, you know, you check out Raw tomorrow night. It took Gene Oakland to pass for them to bring Hulk Hogan back to Raw, as, of course, Hulk Hogan has rejoined the company's good graces in the last uh, five or six months. Uh, he was at the Crown Jewel show. Um, 
he was one of the few people that wanted to do it. Uh, okay. he, he was there for that, and I think he's done some other media rounds for them. But he will make his first, to my knowledge, his first televised appearance since... Oh, I can't even remember when, when his last time on Raw was. I, I read it the other day, and I, I can't remember. But uh, apparently they're going to have some uh, tribute to Mean Gene. And nice. Ric Flair is also signed on, from what I hear. Yeah. So hopefully they give him a good send-off. I hope it's not something... I mean, you know, have a little bit of fun with it because Gene Ogron took part in a lot of fun skits right. and all that. Have some fun with it, but don't... I just hope it's not ridiculous. You know, I mean, just to the point of... Do you have Lucy. a favorite Gino Krillin memory? Uh, I'm sure oh, we both have by far, the same absolutely. memory. Absolutely, the the SummerSlam '89 blooper, <laughs> uh, which you can find online. And actually, if you follow us on Facebook, we did link yeah, to it. Uh, Nathan put a link up there for it. From what I understand, that it was. Uh, I did some reading about it. It was taped earlier in the day. And they actually showed the wrong footage. Right. Yes, they did. Yeah, they, they showed the wrong footage. And, of course, for those that don't know, it was an interview <laughs> that took place. Gene Okron was interviewing Rick, Rick Rude, Rude and Bobby, and Bobby Heenan, Heenan was, were there. When the giant SummerSlam sign fell behind him and he just, just shouted to the And then uh, Vince McMahon was back in like behind the camera. Yes. And dude. he said, nice move. And Gene Okron... <laughs> <laughs> and and I think if I'm not mistaken, Bobby Heenan just just starts and like steps all out. Yeah. Out of frame. Oh my gosh, he That's, he lost it by that point. It, it is the it is one of the funniest damn things ever because you're just not expecting it. Well, I wouldn't expect them to put it on air, but you know, I'll have to watch. I'm wondering if they let it go on the network. If you watch WrestleMania uh, oh, or um, SummerSlam, I I, I thought haven't. they did at one point. Because I think I remember looking for it. Yeah, I'm just I'm wondering if they've covered it up or wow. See now, and why would you like, cover something like that up? Well, why do they do a lot of the things they do? And apparently, he made a mistake too at the Royal Rumble. Um, I, I read about this in uh, '91 or '92, or it was one of his last appearances. He uh, he was shown he was doing an interview. I forget who it was with, but he say it, it shows him saying something to somebody off off camera. Put that cigarette out. Yes, Is that I the think, one. Yeah, that's '92 when yeah. Flair won. Yeah, that was a day. Yeah, I, I didn't remember that one. I oh, that's a good that one, one too. At all. Definitely. And I well, they, 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 the, there's a WCW one. Yes. that's pretty good. I haven't where seen that he one like um, he's interviewing the Natural Born Thrillers, and I mean he's he's like going off on them, like he's he's calling them he's calling Mike Sanders a prick or something. And well, I know what I'm doing after the show. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think at this point he was kind of fed up with WCW altogether, so he didn't really care what <laughs> happened, but, you know. Well, I know I read one he took part in when uh, Booker T sent some racist remarks toward Hogan. Oh, I think that, was he was in that one. He, I mean, he didn't really do anything. He was no, just there. But, I mean, and that's kind of what Oakland was. He was there to... He, for, he for history. Yeah, I mean... It Besides just, making his own history, he was yes. there for historic moments. Yeah, I got to see this with this uh, first one you mentioned. I, did not I think you'll probably one. be able to look for it. Oh, I'm sure it's on YouTube. Well, it has to be. I mean, it's a Nitro, but I don't yeah. know the exact Nitro. So it would... I think... Gino Gruen Nitro way. Blooper. I mean, we can find it. We can find it. If we can find it, we'll post a link on the, on the Facebook page. Oh, the other one uh, it involved the Bret Hart one. <laughs> you know... You know uh, El Dandy? He was part yes. of that one, too. Yes. El Dandy is a part of the Cruiserweight division. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to doubt El Dandy? That's right. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Okay. We got to look these up when this is over. Yeah. Um, but, no, I'm hoping that they... And then, the well, he did, a, he did a SummerSlam report, like, back, like, a couple of years ago, oh, when okay. uh, Cena and Lesnar uh, faced off. <laughs> And they did it like the old type of thing. You oh, know? that was on Raw or something. Yeah, yeah. I heard about and, that. And then the I sign remember. fell there, too. Okay. Well, he was known for I mean, you... But they did that on purpose. Of course, yeah. There's no way it could happen twice. No. <laughs> in a person's career. But, yeah, hopefully they give him a nice send-off. I mean, it, like I said, I mean, he, he defined... He's all part of one of the greatest eras in wrestling. That, you know, you can look back on it and say it was cheesy, it was campy, but whatever, it was our childhood. Yeah. That was WWE in the 80s and early 90s, and it was great. And, uh, I mean, his AWA stuff before that. Yeah. You know. I mean, so hopefully he gets he gets a good send-off. I just, I'm kind of curious what the, the part they're going to have Hogan play in it. So, I mean, hopefully it, it'll, 
it'll come out. I'm definitely actually looking forward to Raw tomorrow night, so to see what happens there. All right. Carrie, do you have anything? You're over there playing on your phone. And... Not really. Well, I want to bring up uh, a very special show that's on Fox that just came out. Yes, you are a, a big fan of this. I mean, I'm not a... I haven't wa- I watched an episode. And there's only been one episode. But the concept is just... It, it's unlike anything that's ever... And it's uh, it was originated in uh, Korea, like South Korea, I think. Oh, wow. So and again, I'm talking about countries. The Masked Singer. Yes. Uh, 12. There's 12 characters, like, that are, like, in full, like, get up, like, uh, like uh, you know, mascot type characters. Right. And I know, obviously, I know there was a hippo, and that was, he was eliminated, and it turned out to be Antonio Brown of the Steelers. Um, there's a, there's a, a lion. There's a, a unicorn, uh, some kind of monster, an alien. There, they they revealed the first six the first uh, episode, and they're revealing the next six coming up. Now I haven't I haven't watched this. So these, <laughs> the ones in the in the mask. I believe that they, um, I think that they uh, uh, gave the clues to all of the characters in the first episode. So that was my question: Do we at home know who these people are, or is it just as big a surprise to us? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, there's like people that are guessing online. And okay, the videos so, on YouTube. Okay, so we must not must not know. That. And they say okay. that they're like Grammy Award winners, uh, Super Bowl winners, uh, people on the Walk of Fame. You know, like famous movie stars, and so what, like all one of that. The, one of these people are a singer. Though is that what it is? We have to find the singer. No, no. Or? There, there's twelve people. Well, now there's eleven because okay. we already know yeah. Antonio Brown. He's gone. Uh, but there's eleven people, and they're under these uh, these masks, like the, these animal masks, and like animal all kind, like the the outfit and all. Of course. That. So they uh, disguise their voice. Because obviously, when they give away the clues, they yeah. don't want them to say what they actually are. Okay. So the first six uh, sang the uh, song of their choosing, and then there's four uh, panelists. There's Robin Thicke. There's uh, uh, Jenny McCarthy. There's Ken Young, who's who was in The Hangover. Uh, he was, yes. He's Mr. Chow. <laughs> yes. And uh, Nicole Scherzen, Sir, Scherzinger, from which I can't cat, say. From the Pussycat Dolls. Yeah, her. So basically, this is a way to make certain people and relevant. They, and yeah. they're, they're trying to be like the detectives to determine, you know, where what they do and where they're from and who, they're trying ultimately to who out. they are. They're trying to figure like out who's who. Give their best guess as, as to who it is. And so they eliminate. Uh, there's t- it's ten episodes. I assume that they're going to eliminate two in one of them, or uh, well, I mean that would work out to be well, it, it'd probably be two in at least two of them. So they'd eliminate one in the show coming up. But I've online I've looked and there's a deer, and people are thinking that it's Terry Bradshaw, is the deer. What leads them to believe that? Because he's when you watch the video. He's got this certain voice that it's even though it's like was masked, I guess. Altered, you can it's still. It's hard not to tell that it's him. I gotcha. So. So when does this air? It's on Wednesdays at like nine o'clock, I think. Okay, because this may be a DVR thing. Yeah. This may be a thing to at least watch it's, one episode. We we should check this out this yeah. week. I, it's just so so much of an interesting concept. I I can't say it's a great show, but. It's just, it's not like at a time, insanely stupid. At a time where reality TV pretty much rules the airwaves, it's definitely different. Yeah, you know they they haven't done anything like this before, so it's uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I may catch maybe the next episode if I remember, but I could just catch up with it online. If right, I, but I may have to check that out this week. This uh, definitely sounds interesting. That's for sure. Okay, so uh, moving on, um, you want to talk about the uh, movies you've yeah, guys had a seen? chance to uh, catch up with a couple of uh, new movies here. Don't get to the movies as often as I used to, unfortunately. Uh, work and life getting in the way and all that. But uh, 
had a chance to check out three pretty cool flicks here in the last couple months. Uh, Bumblebee, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Aquaman. Had a chance to check out all three of those. Um, enjoyed every one of them. Uh, by far my favorite was the new Spider-Man movie. Definitely that just... Cool. Yeah, even Carrie enjoyed that one. It just everything I love about Spider-Man. And I... I I mean, the original three that Tobey Maguire did back in the early 2000s, you know, they were cool. Then we had The Amazing Spider-Man. The first one was awesome. Uh, the new Spider-Man series that's kicking off, you know, Homecoming was was cool. I enjoyed that. But this one, I, I don't know. For anybody that knows me knows my favorite Spider-Man incarnation was the 94 series from Fox. This kind of had that feel to it for me. I, I don't know. I mean, even kind of getting into the whole multiverse theory and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. This one just... It was just fun. It had, I mean, it, you laughed, you, it was intense in some points. It just, it, to me, it had it all. It was definitely very enjoyable, and I'm not even the biggest comic book Having not, person. you know, watched the the Spider-Man yes. movies, of yes. course. Who played Spider-Man in this? I, I didn't really read who it was. In the animated one? This no, was I mean more, this one. The one you just saw in the movie. Yeah, film. this I'm, this was animated. Um, I am, not, I cannot, I am drawing a blank on the voice cast. Because you had multiple. Yeah, you had... Because uh, there's multiple spider men, right? Right, right. and the, that's the thing. And I am drawing a blank on who the voices were. You could probably find that faster than I can uh, um, on your phone there. But, uh, you know, we, we definitely enjoy, like I said, and Carrie's not a big comic book movie person at all. Other than Deadpool. And, well, yes, with the exception of Deadpool. She's rocking the Deadpool shirt mm -hmm. today and socks. Yes. Um, if you're going to do anything, at least match when you do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, Bumblebee was a lot of fun. It was just enjoyable, and I was kind of wondering how I'd feel about it because after the Lance tra last Transformer movie, uh, last night or whatever it was called, which I thought was okay, but it was just incredibly too long. Too long. Um, but this one, th this kind of brought it back for me. I enjoyed it. Uh, tied into wrestling. Of course, John Cena was in this one. Um you know, we kind of get an origin story of Bumblebee coming to planet Earth from Cybertron and all that. It was it was cool. Yeah, we, we both, and you enjoyed that one as well. I did, because I loved the great nod to the 80s, but I was always a big you know, fan of that show anyways. Like, I used to watch the show when I was a kid. So. And Aquaman uh, enjoyed it. I, I still just don't understand DC's marketing. Aquaman played such a uh, big part in... My goodness, I guy just uh, Justice League. Wow, it's late, folks. Um, huh. He played it, you know, such a great part in Justice League. I really can't understand why they waited so long to release the Aquaman movie. Um, I will say, I like I said, I enjoyed it. I think I liked Justice League and definitely Wonder Woman um, a little more. But had fun with Aquaman. If you're on the fence about seeing it, I definitely recommend you take time out of your day and check it out. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of good theater here in the last uh, in the last what month or so. Did we see anything else? Um, no. No, Not I think together. that's yeah. I think that oh, uh, we caught the new Grinch movie back at uh, the beginning of December. Yes, I will speak on that, and that I do know the voice. Here. That was uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, which is still just a great name. <laughs> it's just a great name all around. But it was a fun uh, remake for yeah, th it was it was enjoyable. As far as I'm concerned, best Grinch, obviously the original. Uh, the original 60s cartoon. Agreed. Um, you know, a lot of people can't get past the Jim Carrey when they thought that is the greatest thing. I'm more traditionalist for the original cartoon. For an updated cartoon, uh, for an update on an, on an old classic, this was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely get, it kind of gets a little deeper into the story. You get a little more of the story. Kind of find out why the Grinch is the way he is and, and whatnot. Uh, I told Carrie the best way to for, say, for me to say how much I liked it. Um, it's one that whenever it hits uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and all that, I will probably pick this one up and add it to my holiday collection. So definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed that. Yeah. To to uh, also actually uh, clear up an error that I made earlier in the show. It was not twenty-seven to twenty-four Dallas. It was twenty-four to twenty-two Dallas. And, ah. and also an update on the uh, game. It's fourth quarter, 11 minutes left, 10 to 9, 
Eagles, not ten not to six. Eagles. This, so is a, this is a nail biter. Chicago gonna, added a field goal. This is going to come right down to the wire, folks. It, it is. Yeah, I think it is. So, anything else? Uh, not that I can really think of. I mean, no. even though we haven't seen each other in yeah, a while, yeah, it's it's been a while. The holidays and just unfortunately, in general, like I said, life just kind of getting in the way but uh people going in different directions yeah it's it seems that way it really does everybody busy hopefully the next one we do we can get everybody back together here and uh and uh, get it going that will be in uh four months yeah the way it's looking we'll <laughs> probably be ready to ring in summer at that point we'll be, we'll be talking about summer vacation and all that but uh as for now as always it's been real it's been fun so yeah uh <laughs> You remember the last show when I talked about the American Pie giveaway? I do! <laughs> You're still sitting on that, aren't you? Uh, yeah, because you know how many emails we've gotten? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still have our American which, Pie which as, contest. Which, as of, I'm not surprised, you know. I shouldn't have said for the fourth email that you... Uh, Get a free copy of American Pie. I know everybody really wanted it that bad. So See, they that's what to email happened. Me. Everybody tried to send their emails at exactly the same time. And the and servers got overloaded. Out. Is that what and it was? I, I, it crashed. The, it crashed the server. Google's Gmail. Yep. Just, just, just kinda, shattered. Mm, and, and they can't figure mm. out what it is. I mean, they've got their top guys on this. I'm, I'm sure. So do we want to do we want to plug this again? Yeah. Well. I think I've been shoot. I shot a little bit too high as far as the number of. Do we want to lower it down and say that this? I'm going to cut in half. Yeah, the second email. The second email that we receive at the five four six project at gmail dot com. You will get a used, a <laughs> a brand used new com used copy of the cinematic classic American Pie for uh, free. For Just, free. I mean it. it, it Five I fucking mean, you, minutes out of your day to you, send an email, folks. You like, could, you can do whatever you want with it. You can keep it. You can use it as a coaster. You can, you can it. use it for target practice. I, mean, I don't frisbee, care. I mean, you, you know, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless right. here, folks. I mean, like I said, five fucking minutes out of your day to just type on your keyboard. I mean, it, shoot it off when your boss isn't looking when you're at work. I mean, or you know, if you have computer access at work, I do not. But, uh, you know, it, it, come on. We're, you act like we're asking y'all to come out and do fucking sit-ups or something. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And you want to plug that social I, media I'd thing say a, I said I would say a sit-up competition on a uh, podcast would be not the best thing to do, for sure. Well, no, but. I just said do we ask, I, the, the, the response here, it's like we're asking them to do it or something. Yeah. The second email to the 546 Project. At, at gmail.com. Gmail You'll get your brand new used copy of American Pie. I mean, you know, I, I, I I thought it was a decent movie. I mean, I've, I've seen it. Thought so. I mean, I, I haven't, but I mean, uh, I, I hear good things. How were you alive during that era? And I, I know, I know. Some, I mean, some people it makes them throw up, but that's yeah. another story altogether. Does. That's yeah. a different story in itself. I mean, this is a lot of. <laughs> that's one email we won't be getting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, so anyway, the, the, much like Bobby Heen and I have to step off camera now. Um, but, uh, the the social media rundown. Yes, Facebook. Just search for the Five Four Six Project. You'll find our page on there. We pay, we post on Twitter, and our handle is the underscore Five Four Six underscore Project. A lot. I mean. If I post on Facebook, it automatically goes to Twitter, but sometimes I make my uh, Twitter posts separate from the Facebook. So just go ahead and leave us a like or follow us, and it would be much appreciated. I should talk about our YouTube page, actually. Yeah, the YouTube page is hopping. Uh, Nathan has kind of taken on the project of video food box. And we're not going to have a food box. I think I think the best thing to do is just to... Put all the food boxes on vid visual media. Yeah, that that works. That it, sounds it, like it that's works an out much better. To do. And uh, I mean, I've done probably uh, almost running. almost ten since yeah, we been, were not we were together the you've last. Been running time. with it now. We did just put a new one up today. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you know if we'll be up. To, I mean, well, no, I mean by we, the time you it, listen we, to we this, likely. It will be up yeah, for we, you. We did it today. And it, it was the Taco Bell Nacho, three cheese, three cheese nacho, 
uh, grande yeah. burrito, the, burrito. the dollar one. one. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. I will say that. That was a preview. Yeah. It is it is very good. Uh, so, the U- uh, follow us, uh, subscribe rather on YouTube. Um, I've gotten a couple comments on there from one particular uh, viewer who likes the the stuff and much appreciated. Uh, our well, podcast well, website itself is. 546 Project, 30 Minutes or Less, which used to be our name but isn't anymore, uh, dot libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N, dot com. And I think that's all the social media that we have. I think so. I mean, I, I can't imagine. I think that's more else. than enough. Yeah, I can't imagine us getting anywhere else. So. I mean, if if our Gmail would actually start, you know, yeah, I mean, getting if could, going. If, if they get their servers fixed, because that's obviously the problem. <laughs> it's got to be. Um, yeah. It's I mean, got to be the problem. Send a, send a, like I said, anything you want. Tell us hello. Tell us you enjoy what we're doing. Tell us you hate what we're doing. No, uh, you know, all all feedback is... I mean, don't tell us to, like, kill ourselves or anything. We yeah, wouldn't I like mean, that. I mean, obviously, we're not going to do it. Yeah, so, that, I mean, that too. You know, yeah, there, there's too much stuff left in the world out there to make fun of. So, um, but uh, hit us up. You know, let us know what you think of it for, for the thousands of you I know that are listening, <laughs> hanging on our every word. Yeah. Tens um, of thousands. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, we get enough people into this. Eventually, we're going to put up a shop site. Oh, and if, if Kevin or, and, or Jason are happened to listen to this, hello, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we miss you. Um, uh, definitely. I think, I think we should, um, we should, like, get in you know, the milk carton going. You know, maybe, maybe, picture. Maybe, maybe, you know, do they still do that? <laughs> I don't, they, I don't think they do. I think they more go in like the coupon books or something. Yeah, social media has taken yeah. over. It's much easier to find people that way. People don't drink milk like they used to. Um, Not, the milk we have don't really come in cartons so much. They yeah, come in true. like jugs, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it could be worse. Or it could, Canada, where it's bad. I was going to say, it could be worse. It could be in a sack. So, how, you, know? Uh, you know, how, uh, Why? Yeah, why would you do that? First off, to be different. Okay, it comes in a bag, but you can't drink out well, of no, the bag. You, you, you have, have to get a special picture. jug, a which special just milk sits yeah. the, the plastic bag in. Form fits that bag perfectly, though, doesn't it? I, 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 I could see it just spilling. It was just know? a mess. I, I, I couldn't figure that out. So, uh, in the words of South Park, blame Canada. That's <laughs> all I can say. But before we get into any kind of international incidents here and uh, have the Canadian government breathing down our necks, I think we should uh, sign out for now. What do you think? Yeah, it sounds good to me. So thank you all for joining us. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Till next time. Until the next time. Bye. See ya.